Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Week at Christ's Life. So, the same scriptures that say God is everywhere also say, Seek the Lord where he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Because even though God is everywhere, there are going to be places you can't find him. So he puts himself in very specific places so you actually can. See, when everything's falling apart, it's really hard to see the good and gracious will of God. In the middle of a tornado, it's really hard to sing, God is so good. And so God puts himself in very specific ways so that even when everything is falling apart, we can still find him. We can still know what his will for us is. And we can still actually have a little bit of comfort, even while everything else is falling apart. In the large catechism, Luther writes, This sign is therefore attached to this petition, that when we pray, we remember the promise and reflect thus. Dear Father, for this reason I come and pray, thee forgive me, not that I can make satisfaction or merit anything by my works, but because thou hast promised and attached the seal thereto, that I should be as sure as though I had absolution pronounced by thyself. For as much as baptism and the Lord's Supper appointed as external signs effect, so much also this sign can effect to confirm our consciences and cause them to rejoice. And it is especially given for this purpose, that we might use and practice it every hour as a thing that we have with us at all times. See, God puts himself in places that we can actually find him so that we can hear externally that our sins are forgiven. Because honestly, if, if we didn't feel so bad about our sins, that might not be a good thing in the first place. Because even if I can manage to convince myself that I shouldn't feel bad for sinning, it still hurts the people around me. And me not feeling guilty about it doesn't help them one bit. But more, if I'm trying to get closer to God by, you know, just feeling better, well, the problem is when I need God the most, he will feel the farthest away because I am so wrought with guilt and shame over everything that I have done, over everything that has gone wrong. And so God gives himself in external places. He, he works from the outside in so that we can actually find him when we need him. And so in the same way that I know my sins are forgiven by eating and drinking Jesus' body and blood, no matter how I feel about it at the time, God teaches me to pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us so that even as I am speaking the words which he has commanded me to pray, I can know what kind of God I have. See, it's not that we're forgiven because we have earned it by praying this prayer. It's not that God sits in heaven and says, I'm not going to forgive them until they ask. Jesus died on the cross to forgive you your sins long time before you ever asked. It's that God puts himself and his promise in this petition so that you can actually be certain that your sins are forgiven as you pray it. We don't earn forgiveness by praying the Lord's Prayer. It's not a magic spell that makes God work because, well, I mean, if he didn't want to forgive your sins, it wouldn't work. No matter how much you meant it, no matter how nice of a person you were, no matter what you offered him as you prayed it. But since God wants you to have forgiveness of sins, he sent Jesus to die on the cross. And since he wants you to actually be certain that you do have it, he teaches you to pray. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. He teaches us to pray this, this thing so that we can actually have a clean conscience that he wills me to go to him for forgiveness because he actually wants to give it. When I pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, I can know. Well, he already did. And he is. And he will continue to. Because God has sent his son to die upon the cross to forgive you your sins. That even as you pray this, you might find comfort in what God's will is, in, in who he is. He is the God who does forgive sinners. And there, there you can have comfort every single day. <laughs>